Hello, buenos dias. Good morning, my beautiful people. Welcome back to the channel. It's your girl here, Daniela, Miss Four Lizard, the planning diva. And today I'm going to be switching out all of my sticker books that I have in my shop, my stash sticker basket. Um, I got this little basket thing at a Goodwill for $5.00. And I thought it was perfect for a little shop my stash um, sticker holder that can sit on my desk. And that way I can have just like a set number of sticker books I can like really focus on throughout the week. Or um, I had these in my little sticker basket for two weeks, so I got some good use out of these. And um, that way I could like store all of my other sticker books because I have so many Happy Planner and other type of sticker books in my sticker stash and sticker collection. And I thought it would be fun to just like pick out, you know, a couple of them and put them in my little sticker stash and just focus on those stickers for uh, a set amount of time. And that way I really feel like... I am rotating through my stash and like rediscovering old favorites and really focusing on using up what I do have. So really quickly, I'm going to show you what I had picked last week. I had a This Is Us sticker book, a little Japanese flower sticker book, a bando rainbow like decorative sticker book, digital detox from the Happy Planner, bold and bright. Um, two Sweet Kawaii Design sticker books. This one was like the farmer market one and this one was the crafty one. I have um, this guy which is a Recollections um, bright sticker book. It's just full of really like bright stickers and I've actually deconstructed it into a like um, yeah, just a deconstructed sticker book with my own. I made this little like scrapbook cover on it and I actually wanted to um, put a ring at the top. I used to have rings on these guys and I took it off a while ago. I don't remember. I think the way I was storing them, I just wanted to take the rings off. So let me just put this back on right now. There we go. So now it's we have a ring in it so yeah these are just recollection stickers and um the reason why it's de deconstructed like this is because i had it combined with a couple of other recollections stickers and um i ended up finishing those stickers and so what was left was just the the brights sticker book i have fresh botanicals which was a relatively new sticker book for me i had um villains in a mini which was also re a relatively new sticker book for me and then also a new sticker book for me modern farmhouse love this one it's so so stinking cute and then i had let's stay home which honestly these are <laughs> these are all kind of new sticker books for me i got them within the last month month and a half probably maybe just two months so princess elegance i had that one and then i also had peace within which um maybe i got this in the last like three to four months so i have that one all right so starting off there are a couple of sticker books i want to roll over like continue to keep in my um in my sticker stash the first is going to be this villains because I just want to keep it here out with me. It's so fun and also it's a mini and I always want to keep a mini like in my stickers stash or like my sticker basket because these are um, perfect for my weekly desk pad plan with me's because they're so small. So I'm going to keep this one there. Let me put that in there. And I think the rest of this, um, well, no, I'm going to ke also keep on keep on with this one, the Sweet Kawaii Design Crafty sticker book. This is one of the sticker books I want to try to finish this year, and I feel like I'm making good progress towards it. So I'm gonna keep those, but I think I'm gonna return all these sticker books to my stash. And I think I'm also gonna keep the Bando sticker book. Uh, I'm gonna keep this one out as well. And um, I'm going to also keep this, this is a sticker, but this is also one that I'm trying to finish. So I'm gonna keep this one out and 
Ooh. You know what? Maybe I should keep this one. I don't know. Should I keep this one out? Yeah, I'm gonna also keep the little Japanese flower book sticker book out with my sticker stash because I do kind of want to use that one a little bit more. But but the rest of these stickers, I'm gonna return to my sticker stash. I actually have like a, a craft cart. Um, it's one of those like cloth craft carts that kind of looks like a suitcase. I have all my sticker books in there and it lives in my closet. I'm gonna return these to my craft cart. And uh, I have my craft cart here right now with me and I'm going to pick out some sticker books. Um, and actually not all of my stickers live in that craft, tart, craft cart. I actually have a good number of stickers in my uh, craft tote. I have a craft tote that houses a lot of like the crafting stuff I use kind of on the daily but that I don't want to have on my desk. It's just in my tote and that way I can grab my tote and just um, take it wherever I want to take it. And it's a good size tote. Um, it, it's really nice. I actually got found it at a Goodwill and I was so happy to have found it. It was so cute. And I actually have some stickers there and those are kind of more like functional stickers. Like I have my budget stickers there. I have my fitness stickers there. I have, um, what else do I have? I think I have like pets stickers there. So those are all stickers that they have like a particular purpose and function and that I kind of find myself reaching for, reaching towards, um, for like a very specific purpose. And I think I'm gonna put this piece within sticker book in there because it's also kind of like, there's a really distinctive like purpose for it. I'm like reaching for this sticker book when I wanna do some faith journaling. So I think I'm gonna leave it out and put it into my craft tote. Um, that way I don't have to go into my closet and into my craft cart to get this whenever I want to faith journal. Okay, I think I've decided on the stickers that the new stickers that I'm going to introduce into my stash. I grabbed this Agenda 52 Fab and Fearless sticker pack. I got a bunch of these at a thrift store. Someone had donated a bunch of their old Agenda 52 stickers and I just want to like have some uh, like diversity when it comes to my stickers and this one's super cute. I've used it before and I also just want to use some like non-happy planner stickers um, just to, you know, just switch it up, change things up. So I'm going to add that to my stash here. I'm going to put these little ones at the end. I grabbed my Press Florals accessory book because... Um, I'm almost done with this one. I feel like I don't have that much left. Oh wait, no, I lied. I feel like I, I think I do have a lot here. Um, yeah, especially the boxes. But I feel like I have gone through like half of this at least. And I've these two pages here are the last two pages left from my pressed florals sticker book, like the regular one, not the. Um, not the accessory book. I pretty much finished that entire sticker book and I've, I've already taken the sticky notes out and I'm, I put them in like sticky note dashboards in my planner. So this is a book that I do want to finish this year so I'm going to try to finish it and what better time to finish the sticker book than in the spring. So I'm also feeling like I fell in love again with the Pressed Florals uh, release because I'm right now, right now I'm using one of their um, Big Happy planners. And also my boyfriend bought me the Be Happy Wildflower box um, that came with the Flora like style sticker book and um, and like, uh, what was it? Happy Notes? It, it was pretty much like Pressed, pressed Florals uh, 2.0. And so this is the sticker book that came with that Be Happy box. It was really, really similar to the Pressed Florals line that launched last year. And so I'm really re-inspired really by it. And right now I'm using um, the, the Big Happy Planner with the Pressed Florals line. So... I wanted to grab this one, so that one's gonna go into my box. And also I grabbed the Flora sticker book. This is probably my newest sticker book. Um, haven't used it at all. Um, yeah, my boyfriend bought me the Be Happy box for my birthday. So, so cute of him. And I just wanna have that out for me to see and to appreciate. 
I also grabbed the springtime sticker book. I've used this one quite a bit, but definitely have still a lot of stickers in here. So it is springtime and I do want to celebrate it while it lasts. So that one's going to go in here. I also grabbed the Oasis Adventure sticker book. Um, this is another one that I've used quite a bit and I do want to try to finish this by the end of the year. Maybe not you know these pages here but the rest of them I feel like I can get like I can um, I can get a good amount of uh, like I could get a good amount of these done this year so I love this sticker book this is probably one of my favorite Disney sticker books that um, that they came out with I also grabbed a little bit of an older sticker book this is happy plans this is a sticker book that I was like lusting in my heart after when it first dropped. I loved how functional it was and it's just so, so, so cute and I still really, really like it. I'm almost kind of like afraid to use it because I just don't want it to like, you know, go away. But I feel like I could pick up another copy of this um, if I if I finish this within the year. I feel like this is still going to be floating around at some stores and I could grab it. So I should just use it. Okay, this is these are two relatively new sticker books. Uh, these are the last two that I picked. This is a girl with goals sticker book. Um, I picked this up at the Hobby Lobby 40% off sale. And this is one that I always was kind of eyeing, but never like bit the bullet and picked up until recently I just decided to go for it. I feel like right now I'm really feeling like a girl with goals. I am so close to graduating and I just need that extra like push and motivation to just hunker down and get what I need to get done done so I can graduate. I already have a job offer in place waiting for me, so I just need to you know, finish the last couple of things that I need to finish for my dissertation and I can move on to my next job. And I'm just so happy and so blessed. I feel so incredibly fortunate and blessed that, that I was able to acquire a position before I graduated and I have a job waiting for me so that I have, there's no, I don't feel like like um like scared that i'm not gonna get a job or there's gonna be like a you know like a gap in between paychecks it's gonna like all work out nicely and i was so stressed for the last year and a half or so a lot i knew i was getting close to graduation and i knew that i had to start looking for a position and then start applying for jobs and i i started applying kind of like here and there, not too crazy. I wasn't doing, putting a lot of like focus into job hunting. Um, I only applied for things I really, really felt like I wanted. And I just, I wasn't like sending out, you know, multiple applications a week, but this position was one that I really wanted. And so I put in the work to apply to it. And yeah, last, last week, two weeks ago, almost two weeks ago, I was notified that um, that the, they were offering me the position and I accepted and they just want me to present my degree <laughs> before I start to show them that I do have my degree and so that's why I gotta I gotta get a move on I gotta graduate I gotta show that you know I was able to complete it and so this girl with goals kind of really like motivated me I saw it and I was like yes sometimes I need this like boss bitch energy so there we have Girl with Goals, and then the last sticker book that I have here is Blush in It, which this sticker book is so gorgeous, so beautiful. Ugh, I, this is one that I would repurchase again and again and again. It's so, so cute. So, uh, this is so, so cute. I love it so much. So I'm going to put it into my basket as well. There we go put these back in and so this is my new sticker stash um, I love it so much and I'm already inspired and can't wait to get into these stickers so thank you so much for tuning in to this shop my sticker stash video and I will catch you in my next one bye